To both, I address this question that I think is very much on the minds of Jews still living in the Gola. Is the criticism from American Jews in recent days, do you see it more as a deep ethical struggle, or is it what Shlomo Abineri spoke when he wrote of the shtetl mentality of the fear that is still part of the very system of American Jews? That's question one. And again to Rabbi Greenberg, the second question. I still want to hear whether, according to your plan, Jerusalem is negotiable. If it is the only way, the only way to achieve real peace. And to Rabbi Kahana, the second question, I'm still waiting to hear the halakha quoted that supports your position on forced expulsion for Arabs we know are peaceful. Or do you view all Arabs as being evil? Is the criticism Israel an ethical struggle or fear of the uh, of the shtetl mentality? It's hard to judge motives, and I'm reluctant to do that in this situation. I can only say the general idea. I believe the vast majority of Jews that I have spoken to, and I have literally spoken to hundreds and thousands about this question, I think they all feel that they all feel the same thing. A great concern and support for Israel, unqualified commitment for Israel, and a fear that in the very process of defending Israel, there may be a moral breakdown. People do feel both. Now I think the more mature and the more confident we are in Israel, and I have developed that confidence, I think we have to have the confidence to know that even if it makes mistakes, that does not take away from the fundamental truth and solid moral commitment of Israel. But you know what creates the doubt? When you hear the kind of reckless statements we've heard. That's exactly the kind of doubt that the PLO plays on. It's the kind of thing that many will say on public TV that Mayor Kahana is the authentic voice of Zionism, because he knows it appeals to the Gentile, either anti-Semitic concerns of Jews or fears of our Jews. But the average Jew I know has that confidence in Israel, and the criticism, I think it was harsh and unjustified by Shindler exaggerating and by Siegman, but I think they mean it out of respect, I think they're mistaken, and I think we should work out ways of communicating that are better and less undermining of Israel. But I still feel the overall of the Jews are behind it, and the criticism is out of joint moral concern. Secondly, on, on Jerusalem, your question, I don't mean to dismiss it, but in all fairness, I think it's both a hypothetical and unnecessary question. I said before that the Jewish people will work it out on the, on the ground itself. There's no doubt in my mind that Jerusalem is Jerusalem and will remain Jerusalem, whether it means that there will be language that will allow the Arabs to call Jerusalem also, as you have the Canton proposal from the college, where the Arab East Jerusalem Canton is considered the capital of the West Bank. I don't care, frankly. What really counts in my mind is the notion that there will be, in fact, some form of federalism, some form of condominium, some form of joint that will allow each side to live fully and flourish in peace with Jews on the West Bank and Arabs inside Israel. The specific details I leave to negotiation, and this will take decades, if not centuries. But if we get started, if we have the right approach, there will be peace in Jerusalem, and they will live, and so will we. for someone who forgets Jerusalem and whose right hand is forgotten and whose tongue cleaves to his cheek deserves the same face. <laughs> what a difference between such a Jew and between Arabs. What pride the Arabs have when you find one Arab who would make that kind of mistake about the capital that he believes to be his. That's the prejudice. And that, I think, shows, answers the, the question that Rabbi Robert Weiss has, is this agony among American Jews an ethical struggle or is this here? First of all, there's no such thing as American Jew. This is young American Jew and so on and so forth. All kinds of American Jews. The average American Jew has a gut feeling that Kahan is right.
the American Jewish leaders, these are people who are schizophrenics. They are schizophrenics. On the one hand, they are liberals to the core. On the other hand, they speak about being Jewish. There is a contradiction between basic Jewish values and basic liberal values. Democracy, forget Judaism. Democracy and Zionism don't mix. That's why there is a law of return in Israel which applies to Jews only and not to Arabs. And then we all passed it and not Ghan. I have time. I must finish. Obviously, even if an Arab is the best of Arabs, the best of Jews, if you come to Wyoming, to a city to fight against it, you must offer peace. Vayayim Shalom. They want peace and they accept peace. Then they can only be the Masra Then it's only then do we even think about tribute and servitude. I am allowing every Arab who wants to remain inside the country as a non citizen. Not a voter, nothing to do with national rights, but his personal rights. Let him stay in the country and sit quiet and shut the dinner because it's a Jewish thing.